Puzzle sales are soaring during the pandemic as families try to stay busy at home. But until recently, the industry was missing a critical piece. Omar Villafranca shows us how Texas siblings decided to take action after they discovered a lack of representation. There it goes. Goodness. It takes sharp attention to detail to put together puzzles, something William Jones and Erica Chambers have been doing since they were kids growing up in North Texas. I really love to like look at the detail of every piece where you kind of see like the strokes of the, the brush. And there were a lot of little pieces. Every winter, they'd tackle bigger challenges from 250 to 500 to 1,000 piece puzzles. We're three years apart and we spend a lot of time, you know, with our own friends doing our own thing. And so this was the thing that got us together. But even after all the tabs were connected, they felt the puzzles were still missing a piece. A lot of our puzzles that we ended up picking were like cartoons, like, you know, we had a Bart Simpson and a, a Mickey Mouse. It wasn't like anything particularly that represented us as a, you know, as people of color. That sparked an idea, which became Puzzles of Color, a small business they started during the pandemic. Corporate offices are in Erica's garage. The pandemic has not paused their puzzle production. Just push it through here, hit the little green button. Sometimes it sticks onto the board pretty good. Whoa. And so there it is. There you have a puzzle. Puzzles of Color finds artwork depicting black culture created by artists of color and puts them on puzzles, like Kwanzaa Edwards' painting titled To Be Loved. Did you ever think that your artwork would be part of kind of a new expression for black culture? When I saw the picture of it put together, I started squealing like, oh my God. God, oh, somebody actually put it together and enjoyed it. It's really just rewarding, just knowing that people can interact with it in a way that is different than just going to a gallery or just seeing it online. Daryl Hill just bought one of the puzzles for his three-year-old son, Micah. Do you like doing puzzles? Why? Daryl lets Micah be a kid, but feels it's also important for his son to see other people who look like him when he plays. With the puzzle that I bought, it, it looked like somebody that looks like him, you know? As he's growing up, I need him to know that he's represented in culture. Erica and William are ramping up production and hope their small business can fill a missing piece in a bigger cultural puzzle. It's all about that representation. You don't feel like an other. You feel like you are part of the world that you live in. 500 to 1,000 pieces at a time. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <Yes. laughs> 500 pieces of culture. Omar Villafranca, Little Elm, Texas. That is some Texas excellence right mm -hmm. there. Yes, it is. Where that is, is so Little beautiful. Elm? That's a good question. <laughs> that I, I, I cannot Google right now. I'll have the right, right now, after weather. But you're going to yes. Google yeah. Map I while I do the weather. And whoa.